Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm an actress from Dublin. Um, I've just completed the Applied Art of Acting. Um, here's my showreel. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye. I first spotted my chosen base material. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so funny not to be able to use names. <laughs> sorry, a lawyer told me I had to say that. On January the 9th, the fifth day of the winter semester, as I actively pursued another set of base materials. So obviously, my current creation was a lot more right for my work. And so I set about a scenario that will allow our eventual, yet seemingly random, connection. I ask him, I there ask were him. other corrections, there were other lies. What lies? Small lies. What lies? Small art variations that I inserted into my story to Gerardo, and you corrected most of them. And you were so afraid of not being right. But I'm not going to kill you because you're guilty, Doctor. I'm going to kill you because you could never repent at all. You could never stand up amongst those and said, I did this, I did it, and I'll never do it again. What more do you want? You've got more than all the victims of this country will ever get. What more do you want? The truth, Doctor, and I'm going to let you go. Repent, and I will let you go. I will give you ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Time is running out. Say it, so. No, I won't, because even if I confess, you'll never be satisfied. You're going to kill me anyway, so go ahead and do it. I'm not going to let some sick woman treat me like this. If you're going to kill me, do it. You're killing an innocent man. Eight. Oh, so, some people done some terrible things to you, and you've just done some terrible things to me. And tomorrow someone else is going to, and so on and so on. I have three children, two boys and a girl. Are they going to wait the next 15 years till they find you? And then? Nine. Paulina, is it time to stop? Why is it always people like me who have to make sacrifices? Why are we always the ones who have to make concessions for something that has to be conceded? Why is it always me who has to bite my tongue? Why? Well, not this time. This time I'm going to do what I want, what I need, to do justice in just one case. What do we lose? What do we lose if we kill one of them? What do we lose? What do we lose? I'm going to hold on to these then. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I'm washing them to bring them to goodwill. Might as well hold on to them, in case you have a boy. No sense in giving them away. Oh, I don't know, back there in baby clothes for such a long time, it'd be years before they can even fit into any of this. <sighs> Comes around so quickly, you wouldn't even believe it. I have nowhere to store it anyway, so... Well, I'll keep him here in the basement. He'll thank me for it. Hmm. Uh, what if it's a girl? Oh, if it's a girl, well, I'll bring him down to Goodwill. What's the big deal? A couple of years worth of free clothes here. Think of the money you'll save. It's not about the money. Well, it should be. That's the kind of stuff you have to start thinking about, is. Especially if the father's a musician. It costs a lot to raise a child. Mm. I just think it'd be weird, that's all. If the boy to see him running around in Danny's clothes. I would feel weird, you would too, I think. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, of course. It was I nice offer. I was... just think that I'm... <sighs> You'll get loads for birthdays and Christmas. You won't have to hmm. worry about that kind of thing. No, I know, but it'd be different if it was Yeah, it, it would be different if they were hand me down. Exactly. <laughs> Probably going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm kind of psychic when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> Are you? Remember I said Debbie was going to have a girl? Debbie, yeah. And Karen? Karen too, I remember. I think there's a girl in there. Well, I'd like there to be, I mean, as long as it's healthy, that's the most important thing, right? But if I was to choose, I'd choose a girl. Me too.